The nominations for the 2023 Oscars are in. The 95th Academy Awards ceremony will happen in March, but before then, movie critic Linda Cook is here to tell us about some nominated films that you can still catch in theaters. Hey, Linda, how are you? Good. I'm a little disappointed with the list and a little bit happy. So, uh, you know, some of the movies that I see don't get nominated, right? Mm -hmm. But these, I can say, deserve nominations, all four that we're going to talk about today. Let's talk about the first one. The big one, Avatar, The Way of Water, which of course has been bringing people into the theaters by the thousands, and it's still in theaters. And I would recommend this, especially if you like adventure or the first movie, or if you want to see phenomenal special effects. And this is the sequel to um, the people who live in this special area and discover that they're not alone and they're under threat. That's all I need to tell you. Uh, it is a long movie, so. Uh, Maybe buy some extra popcorn before you go in. Absolutely, with that one. Well, the next film is Black Panther. Oh, forever. Uh, this movie is is a crowd pleaser. One of those movies that even people who don't go to films likes. And of course, this is a sequel to the original Black Panther movie. And um, the reason that I want to talk about this is because Angela Bassett is in this movie and she is one of the nominees. I really loved her character. It's very serious and strong. Speaking of characters, here's The Whale with Brendan Fraser, who is nominated for Best Actor as a man who is debilitated by, he keeps gaining weight, knows he's gaining weight, and will not do anything to help himself. And it's about how he interacts with the people around him and seeks redemption in so many ways. This is a drama, uh, but it's, it's all dialogue driven, so you won't see any action there. Now, absolutely, puss in boots for the kids. At, and honestly, anybody who likes animation, I don't care how old you are, you will appreciate the characters in this. To me, this is the strongest of the Shrek films, and there's a great many of them, right? So, Puss in Boots here has once again voiced by Antonio Banderas has discovered that he's running out of lives and like the rest of us only has one life to live what does he do he decides to hang up his sword and live with a bunch of cats and an annoying little chihuahua <laughs> there's comedy there's friendship and there's a surprisingly strong element of making the most of your life this theme carries throughout so yes kids will like it but adults will appreciate it too so all these movies are worth seeing on the big screen absolutely and Linda do you have any predictions I no, I'm not ready to get <laughs> into those but we'll talk we'll have I'll do my predictions predictions before the Oscars. Right now, I think that the strongest animated movie mm -hmm. is definitely Puss, Puss in Boots. That's as far as I'll go right now. I have to stack up my <laughs> odds against each other before I make those publicly. Absolutely. I got to get to the movie theaters and uh, see some of these movies right now. Well, tonight, it's not going to snow, right? So now's your chance. Exactly. Thank you so much, Linda. Well, you can see Linda's full reviews and see the full list of Oscar nominees at ourquadcities.com.